In this video, I'll show you a way you can link left and right controls of a plugin really easily. So I was playing around with the Shadow Hills Industries Mastering Compressor, which is in the uh, Plugin Alliance new bundle, um, available for free right now. And what I ran into was the left and right controls, the knobs, are still independent even though when you're in the stereo mode, the processing is linked. It's the same processing. All the left controls control both left and right. On a hardware processor, I think that makes sense because you've got two hands and you can move two of the knobs to match your settings. But on a plugin, I think they should actually move when you... So when I move the optical threshold on the left, it should move on the right. And if you don't do that, you have no way of A, B comparing the stereo and the dual mono modes. So when the plugin doesn't give you that option itself, we have a way to do this inside of Reaper. So first of all, we're gonna do it the slow and manual way, um, which is still useful to know when there's only maybe one parameter you need to link to another one. So we're gonna touch the parameter we want to link. So we've got optical threshold number two and then we click on the param button, parameter modulation, MIDI link. We're now going to link from MIDI or effects parameter, where it says none, we're going to choose self, and we're going to select the optical threshold one, which is at the left side. Now they're linked, so we can turn that and see that move. And to me, that makes more sense when you're in the stereo mode or the dual mono mode, you want the processing to be independent on the left and right. You don't really want your settings to be totally different or to carefully match your left and right settings manually, which I did once and it was just annoying. So this is a better way. This parameter modulation link window is useful for so many other things. I'll just show you one other thing. You can set the scale to minus set the baseline at 100% and now they'll move in opposite directions. You wouldn't do that with a threshold, but you might do that with an input and output gain control. So anyways, let's put this back to 100% and that one is linked. Now I wanna show you a script that comes with Repack from MPL called Learn Editor, MPL Learn Editor. And when you first open this, um, if you haven't linked anything yet, this will just be blank. So you can go through that process through the param menu and then see everything listed here. You could also use the learn button, the mod button, and the, um, and the menu here. In this actions, this is what I wanna show you for quickly linking left and right. It's the link last two touched effects parameters. This is going to be so quick to, uh, to link those left and rights. So we've already done the optical threshold. We're now going to do the optical gain. First I'll touch the left parameter and then the right parameter, go to the menu and link last two touched effects parameters. And there, they're now linked left and right. I'll do that for the left and right of the ratio. There isn't a shortcut for this that I know of. Um, so you do need to go through the menu, but it's pretty quick. It's still quicker than, uh, you know, squinting, trying to make sure that everything's the same. So I'll just repeat this for a few more parameters. So the only other point to really keep in mind here is that if you do right and then left side, it will link it in the reverse order or um, the right side will be kind of the master parameter um, where if I move the left one, it won't do anything, it'll snap back. That's an important note but otherwise it's very simple to set this up and you can do this in about a minute. There aren't a lot of plugins like this that have both left and right um, shown at the same time, which have completely independent controls. Um, but this is just a faithful recreation of this hardware device where it actually looks like this and the physical controls don't actually move unless you're doing it yourself. A couple more things to note in this window. So if we click on any of these parameters that brings up the menu so we can adjust that linking. So maybe we don't want it to link 100% strength. We can make it 50% uh, strength for certain things. 
yeah, clicking on any of these will bring up that window. You can have multiple windows open. And clicking on the name of the plugin will bring that plugin up. From this menu, we can also dock the Learn Editor into the Reaper UI. And clicking on the X will remove that link. And then there's a bypass for the link. So let's say we link everything together for left and right controls. And then we decide we want it certain controls to be independent for stereo balance adjustments. Or maybe we want to use this in MS mode. Um, we can keep the Learn Editor active and just bypass some of the links. So if I look at the optical threshold number two, turn that off. And now this is independent. And so you can have independent left and right controls or independent channel one and two if you're in MS mode. So you probably don't want to actually have to go through this process every single time. How do we speed this up? We can save this as an effects chain. Things like parameter modulation and MIDI assignments get saved with effects chains. They don't get saved with plugin presets. So we just need to right click in the effects chain, save as effects chain, And we'll just save this in my effects folder for mastering compressor linked. I also want to show you that if we copy a plugin from one track to another, that automatically comes with all of these linking, and that is working. So that's a quick way of linking left and right parameters for those certain plugins that have that where this would be helpful. And um, yeah, the MPL Learn Editor, it comes with Repack, very easy to download and install. You may already have it, you just never noticed it before. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.